I gotta hurry back. I'm Kento Nakamura. I'm a high schooler who's a health nut and loves online gaming. My motto is to maintain good health to fully enjoy my hobbies, so I take care of myself while having fun every day. There's a new event today. Gotta log in before her. What? Hey! Uh, so sorry. Not paying attention, are you? Watch out! If it weren't for me, you'd have been injured. Eek! It's Erika. The one who caught me when we collided is Erika Wada. She's the infamous lone wolf punk at our high school. I'm sorry, it wasn't intentional. Whether it was or not is pretty obvious. Anyway, be more careful next time. It's dangerous if you bump into anyone other than me, like girls, elderly, or kids. Got it? Y yeah. That was scary. I thought my life was over. But thinking about it, she was worried about me, right? She's actually kind. Nah, I can't be. She's the fearsome Erika. Oh no, I'm 15 minutes late. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. I need to hurry up or I'll end up making her wait. Ken, sorry for being late. Did I keep you waiting? Eddie, no, I wasn't waiting at all. She's Eddie. We've been playing together since we met in this online game about six months ago. Seems like she's a beginner at the game, always nervous, which triggers my protective instincts seeing her lack of confidence. Ah, uh, she's so cute again today. I gotta protect her forever. By the way, thanks for the other day. I felt so much better after talking to you. No way! If I could help, that's great! Feel free to talk to me anytime, okay? Eddie is way too kind. She listens to my worries and comforts me when I'm down. Her kindness is overflowing. She must be a goddess. I've developed feelings for this wonderful girl without even realizing it. Thanks. Let's go to the new event right away. Sure. And for a while after that. Thanks for today. It was really fun. If you enjoyed it, that's all that matters. <laughs> You're really reliable. Like a prince. A prince? Come on. Gah! Isn't that comparison too cute? By the way, um, Ken? You've always helped me out, right? So, I want to thank you directly next time. Directly? Meet up? For thanks? Is that not okay? Of course it's okay. You're welcome anytime. Let's meet up if you want, Eddie. Yay, that's great! I'll contact you later with the details. I can actually meet Eddie. Is this a miracle? She's probably just as cute as her avatar, right? On the day of our meeting. Oh no, I'm getting nervous. I coordinated my outfit after looking at fashion magazines, so I should be okay. I hope she won't be disappointed when she sees the real me. I hope she won't be let down. But still, I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is where we agreed to meet. Hey you, I've been waiting. Huh? That voice sounds familiar. Hey! Are you ignoring me? You can hear me, can't you? Wait, wait, hold on a second! This can't be true, no way! Where are you looking at? Look here! It's you, right? You're Ken, aren't you? Wait, are you, um, Eddie? Yeah, who else would it be? I'll show you my usual gratitude, so brace yourself. Eek, gratitude? What kind of gratitude does she mean? Um, just to confirm one more time. You're Eddie, the one I always play games with, right? Yeah, but 
Huh? Wait a second. Aren't you the guy who bumped into me the other day? Eek! Spare my life! What are you talking about? But that wooden sword! Oh, this? It's not mine. There was a duel today, and this was the prize. The prize? Don't bring anything besides your fists into a fight. That's cowardly. So, I'm gonna express my gratitude, so come with me. Yeah. Goodbye, life. Today might be my last. Stop, please. Accept your fate. You can't escape anymore. What, what are you gonna do to me? This is unbearable. Meow. This is a cat cafe run by my grandparents. Today, relax here to your heart's content. Cat therapy is just too amazing. Oh, a purring furball. It's too cute. Do you want to play too? <laughs> Good kitty. But it's so different from gaming. Though her expressions aren't too different, she's smiling so gently. Seeing her being kind to the cats, it's breaking down the image of her being fearsome. Maybe she's actually an incredibly kind angel? Why are you staring at me like that? Are you looking for a fight? Oh, you want one? No, that's not it. I don't want to fight. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, thanks for always helping me out. Helping you? In the game, I mean. In the online game. Ah, but it's mutual, isn't it? Is it? I feel like I'm causing more trouble. I still struggle with the controls, so I'm probably causing you a lot of inconvenience. That awkwardness is actually cute to watch. It makes me want to protect you. Protect me? You're a weird one. But thank you. Listen, even if you know it's me, are you still okay to hang out with me? I mean, with the weird rumors going around about me? Of course I am. At first, I was surprised, but you're still Eddie, right? Nothing has changed between us. I see. Thanks. Though we ended up becoming friends in real life. The next day, when I was invited to go to school, I found myself somewhere else entirely. Oops, I accidentally skipped school. But I never expected we'd end up at a gathering place for cats. Aww, they're too cute. This area, everyone in the neighborhood takes care of the cats. See their ears? They're tipped. It's a sign they've been neutered called ear tipping. Just letting them multiply would be cruel. I noticed yesterday, too. You really love cats, huh? Yeah, I love them. They're precious. Adorable. Right? Cats are so cute. Well, the cats are cute, but you're cute, too. Huh? M me Um... Thank you. She's turning red. She's just too cute in real life, too. After all that, Erika and I started spending time together in real life, too. Talking to her, I realized she's not scary at all. She's actually a lovely girl with a beautiful smile. One day. Today was fun, too. Hey, what's wrong? Huh? You seemed a bit off today. What's wrong? I've been wondering for a while now if something's bothering you. Huh? Bothering? What do you mean by that? Using a character that's the complete opposite of me in real life. It doesn't bother me at all. In online games or in virtual reality like this, you can become your ideal self. I use a character that's far from who I am in reality too. 
I want to protect someone, so I use a cool character. I... I always admired being a princess. I've always wanted someone to protect me. But my parents died in an accident when I was young. So I was left with my grandparents that I had no one to rely on. I was lonely and in pain. So I wandered outside to avoid my grandparents and before I knew it I was getting into trouble. I ended up becoming a punk. Eddie. So, I put on a front, dressed like that and pretended to be tough. I pushed myself, desperately struggling to become stronger, and ended up getting better at fighting too. But even then, when I still felt empty after all that, I discovered online games. In a world where no one knows the fearsome version of me, I can show my true self, my weak self. That's why, when I entered this online game world, I met you, Kento. You always protect me. You're my prince. A prince? You said that before, didn't you? I've always thought that. Then I absolutely have to protect her. To keep the smile from fading. A few days later. Ta-da! I made this, so let's eat together. Wow, a homemade lunchbox? It looks delicious. Can I really eat this? Yeah, you're still growing, so eat up, eat up. Thank you for the meal. It's delicious. My grandma taught me, so I'm good at cooking. She did it so I won't be embarrassed when planning to get married. So you will become a wonderful bride, right? about a wonderful bride? You're embarrassing, seriously. A bride or something, that's... that's... Huh? She's turning bright red. She's just too cute. Ugh, just eat it already. On another day. Look, it's done. Wow, it's neatly done. You're good at sewing, too. This is also thanks to my grandma's teaching. She said it's important to be able to do it yourself when needed. B but this doesn't really suit me. What are you saying? If you think girly things don't suit you, you're mistaken. You are a pretty girl. Have confidence. Uh, uh, fine. Don't say stuff like that too much, okay? Why, though? It's the truth. Uh, that's just embarrassing, seriously. You're turning bright red. Are you teasing me? Hey! <laughs> day by day, Erika and I were getting closer. Then one day, the online game we play announced a collaboration with a cafe. Excited about it, we decided to visit together. Wow! Collaborative cafes are the best! Look, this collab menu with NPC Don is amazing! Ah! The official NPC, right? Yeah! The first character you meet. The kind character who guides beginners step by step. But also has a straightforward side, which is great! Hmm... Between Ran and me, which do you like? Huh? Like? I mean about avatars, about appearance. Ah, that. I almost misunderstood. The collab cafe was fun, right? Bought a ton of goods, too. Planning to decorate them at home. Found ya, dorks. Huh? You guys? The ones we dueled before? What? Isn't the matter settled already? Can't let it end with a loss. Today, there's an extra baggage here alone. Uh. We'll target that one. With that one, you won't move properly. Shut up! Huh? 
Obviously, I can still move. So, the rumors about her being fearsome were true. Are you okay? Not injured, are you? I'm fine. Good. That's a relief. I was protected, huh? Even though Erika said she wanted to be protected. Am I useless outside of games? What's wrong? You look upset. Oh, it's nothing. I don't want to stay like this. I need to increase my training. One day, full of determination, I was training. Who would do such a thing? It must be those guys I defeated. Could it be the ones who attacked us before? And they did something despicable, too! Despicable? They took one of my cats! And they left a letter saying, if you want it back, come to the warehouse alone. But why would they do something like this? You see, there was this guy who was harassing a girl. I intervened, and he's been holding a grudge ever since. I've beaten him every time he challenged me. But I never expected them to go as far as targeting the cafe. Are you going? It could be a trap. I know. But sometimes, as a woman, you have to go. You stay here and help Grandma and Grandpa with the cafe, okay? All right. I'm leaving it to you, Kento. Erika! What should I do? I want to go help her. The real Erika isn't strong. But... We'll be fine. Protect her. She's actually very weak. Grandpa, Granny... We're counting on you. Yes. Still standing, huh? Impressive, Erika. Huh. Bringing this many people for just one girl? Pathetic, you! You say that, but does it really matter what happens to this guy? <coughs> if you want this guy back safely, you better not resist anymore. <coughs> Enough already! What? Kanto, why are you here? To protect you, Erika. <coughs> of course, you too. Ouch, here to protect. Stop trembling like a leaf. You look pathetic. What can you even do? Even I have times when I must act. Let me show you the results of my training. Shut up. Let's all take him down. Yeah, we won. You were strong, huh? To maintain good health, moderate strength training and aerobic exercise are necessary. Aerobic exercise? Boxing. Seriously, you were doing boxing? Hey, thanks for protecting me. It's embarrassing, though, being called the most feared in all. That's not true. You're a girl. It's okay to be protected. And from now on, I'll protect you. But why? Because I love you. Huh? L love? Yes, from a long time ago. I've loved you. What? I... I love you too. I love the you who's been by my side. Knowing the real me. So, will you be my boyfriend? Of course. And thus, Erika and I became a couple. The punks not only face consequences for the incident at the cat cafe, but also for other offenses leading to their arrest. They were also required to cover the costs of removing the graffiti, and the cat cafe returned to its former state. As for Erika... Kento! I've decided to stop going out at night. I'm glad to hear that, but why? Well, I don't feel lonely anymore because you're here. Me? 
Yeah? You're always there when I'm feeling lonely. You're... my boyfriend. Uh, of course. <laughs> then I guess I'm not lonely anymore. With that, her delinquent behavior, including night outings, came to an end. And several years later. Well, let's do our best today, too. Aww. That cat really likes you, huh? Well, I'm quite popular with them. Erika and I took over the management of the elderly lady's cat cafe. Are you saying you're not popular with me? N no Being popular with you is the best. In that case, all right. <laughs> I love you, my darling Kento. I love you too. my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.